In this video, we'll be looking at modulus functions. We'll be looking at how to draw these graphs of modulus functions and also how to determine the range of the modulus function. Let's look at the first one. Y is equals to modulus of X minus 2. The modulus means that whatever value is inside the modulus sign will always be positive. Even if the calculation worked out to be negative, because of the modulus sign, you would change it to positive in the end. So first, when we are drawing a graph of modulus function, we draw the function without the modulus first. So let's try to draw y is equals to x minus 2. In this case, they've given us the domain, and that is usually the case. The domain is from negative 3 to 3. y is equals to x minus 2 is a linear equation, and therefore, this would be a straight line. In order to draw a straight line, all we need are two points. And how do we find the two points? We use the domain values x equals to negative 3 and we substitute it into our equation, linear equation. And therefore, when x is equals to negative 3, y will be equals to negative 3 minus 2, which is negative 5. And here we have obtained one point. The point is negative 3, negative 5. Let's sketch this point on the graph first. Negative 3 and negative 5. So the point that we get is here. Now let's find the second point. The second point, we use the other extreme of the domain, and that is positive 3. So when x is equals to positive 3, y will be equals to 3 minus 2, which is 1. Again, we have another point here, 3, 1. Let's catch this point on the graph, 3, 1. So this is the point. Now that we have two points, in order to get the straight line, all we need to do is join them. So take a ruler and join the two points. So this is what the graph of y is equals to x minus 2 looks like. We haven't applied the modulus yet. So what the modulus does is, whatever value is in the negative y region, because the modulus is for y, y is equals to modulus of a function whatever value is in the negative y region will be made positive. How does that look like on a graph? Let's first identify the negative y region. The negative y region would be here, this region here. So this part of the graph is all negative y values. In order to make these values positive, for example, this y value is negative 5. If we have a modulus of negative 5, this would simply be positive 5. And so, this point will end up being here. Notice that there's no change to the x value. The modulus is only applied to the y value. And so we end up here. So when we do that for each and every point, what we end up with is a reflection in the x-axis. And so we are going to reflect this line in the x-axis. And this is what we will get. So what about the positive part? The positive region here stays the same it does not change and so the graph would be like this we will put it up here and we will continue here now the green line is a graph of y is equals to modulus of x minus 2 this is how we draw a graph of modulus function so how do we determine the range of the modulus function for the given domain for the given domain, negative 3 to 3, range of x from negative 3 to 3, the range would be all the corresponding y values for the domain. And so when you look at the green graph, the range that it covers, we take the highest position and the lowest position. So the highest position here, let's use a ruler for this, the highest position here would be 5. 5 is the highest value. And the lowest position would be 0. This is the lowest value of y and this is our range so our range would be the range for this function would be y is less than or equals to 5 for the sign here we follow the sign of the domain so our domain was less than equals to so we are going to use the same thing and the other side it is more than or equals to 0. So the range of this function is 0 to 5. 
let's try another one y is equals to modulus x plus 1 so we do the same thing again in order to draw our graph we need two points where do we get the two points we use the extremes of the domain so once again we're going to substitute negative 3 and 3 so when x is equals to negative 3 y is equals to negative 3 plus 1 remember we are not sketching the modulus function yet we are just sketching the graph of y is equals to x plus 1 so here in this case the point that we get is negative 3 negative 2 negative 2 so this is the first point we repeat again for the other extreme that is x is equals to 3 y will be equals to 3 plus 1 which is 4 and so we've gotten another point here 3 4 now that we have our two points we can draw our graph we can sketch our graph so negative 3 would go to negative 2 this is one point positive 3 would go to 4 this is another point once we got two points for a straight line that's all we need now we just join the two points so when we connect the two points we will get our line this is the graph of y is equals to x plus 1 now we need to add the modulus to it so when we add the modulus to it the same thing applies here you take the negative y region which is this part and we are going to flip it over it is a reflection in the x axis so how would that look like take the extreme point which is negative 2 and flip it over so we get 2 so we mark the extreme point first this will be here 3 2 this would be our new point and now all we have to do is connect it back to the x axis this graph should actually pass through negative 1 but because it's a sketch it doesn't look that way okay so now we connect the other part the positive part there is absolutely no change it remains the same and this is our graph of y is equals to modulus x plus 1 so what is the range here once again we take the highest value of y within the domain and the lowest value so the highest value is here 4 and the lowest value lowest value the lowest value is 0 so once again our range here range is the range for y y is more than or equals to 0 and less than or equals to 4 so this is how we find the range of the modulus function that's it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you found it useful please do hit that like button really does help with the youtube algorithm and if you like videos like this do subscribe because i'll be producing at least one a week see you guys in the next one